welcome students to another lecture in the series we will see uh, further parts of valence analysis in this lecture let us uh, begin with labor variances in your syllabus uh, you have material and labor variances overhead variances are not part of your syllabus so we will be doing labor till labor variances the analysis and computation of labor variances is almost similar to material variances that we have studied in the previous video if i talk about labor cost variance as the name is itself suggesting that there is a difference between the cost of labor a standard direct cost is being specified and for the for whatsoever activity we need to get achieved and the actual direct labor cost incurred is compared with it so you can see the formula is standard labor cost variance is equals to standard labor cost of actual output minus the actual labor cost so we can calculate that standard hours of actual output into standard rate per hour same way as actual hours into the actual rate per hour so number of hours worked into the rate will give you the cost of labor let us see this through an example here standard uh, hours per unit is uh, given as 15 standard rate is 4 actual production is of 1000 units actual hours is of 15300 and actual rate is 3.90 so we, from here we can see that we can there is a chance to have a favorable uh, uh, variance so we can put the values and calculate it and we can see it that we, here we have a favorable variance of 330 rupees we have uh, simply put the value for the standard hours into the standard rate uh, same way as actual hours into the actual rate further labor cost variance can be divided into labor rate variance and labor efficiency variance let us see that labor rate variance first of all lrv the, we call it uh, this is that part, uh, portion or you can say part of the labor cost variance which is due to the difference between the standard rate of labor specified and the actual rate okay so here the formula was, would arise from there only standard rate minus the actual rate into the actual hours and this difference is arising because there is a difference between the standard and the actual rate of wages multiplied by the actual hours for the uh, previous question we can calculate it like this and there also we can see uh, that standard rate was 4 actual was 3.90 and actual hours were 15300 so here also we do have a favorable uh, variance of 1530 rupees the reasons for uh, labor rate variance the usual reasons that we have change in the basic wage rates use of a different method of wage payment can be there employment of workers of grades different from the standard grades which have been specified means that uh, at the time when we st uh, specified the standards there the different grade of labor was appointed and later on it, it was like maybe a lower or a higher standard or grade of workers were doing that same task then unscheduled over times uh, new workers not being paid at full rates often labor rate variance will be uh, an uncontrollable variance because labor rates are usually determined by the uh, demand and supply conditions in the labor market which is backed by negotiable strength of the trade union as well so where this variance is due to the use of grade of labor other than specified uh, there may be uh, like will be such acceptable explanations for the non-availability of the labor grade so for that reason there is a change in the labor grade but when uh, foreman carelessly employs a wrong grade of labor on the job so he may be held responsible for that for the labor time or efficiency variance this is that portion of your labor cost variance which is due to the difference between labor hours which are specified for actual output and the actual labor hours expended so you can see the formula standard hours for actual output minus the actual hours into the standard rate we can use that in the previous formula only it is 15,000 standard and actual is 15,300 into the rate is 4 that is here you have because your actual is more so you have an adverse variance of 1200 rupees and then you can verify your uh, labor rate variance and labor efficiency variance will be sum up to give you the labor cost variance together then next we can uh, see the reasons for labor efficiency variance poor working conditions may be inadequate lighting ventilation or excessive heating there may be some defective tools plant or machinery ineffect inefficient workers could be there incompetent supervision could be there use of defective or on standard materials can be there uh, time wasted by factors like waiting for materials tools and machine breakdown etc 
insufficient training of workers can also be a reason change in the method of operation non standard grade of workers now let us classify the labor efficiency variance further it is divided into three parts three sub variances idle time variance labor mix variance and labor yield variance let's study one by one labor time variance first of all this variance represents that portion of the labor efficiency variance which is due to the no abnormal idle, idle time such as uh, time lost due to machine breakdown power failure strike so it can be calculated by valuing the idle hours at the standard rate so idle hours into the standard rate idle hours represent a pure loss and idle time variance is always unfavorable so we never count it as favorable some accountants uh, do treat idle time variance as a part of labor efficiency variance only but um, uh, we'll treat it as a part of your labor cost variance there is an example for it you can see the data idle time is supposed 200 hours in that case the rate is 4 so 400 adverse when idle time variance is treated as sub sub variance of your labor cost variance and not of labor efficiency variance then for labor efficiency variance the actual time would be uh, that you can subtract it and show it so labor efficiency variance will be calculated on the basis of 15,000 100 hours in that case not 300 so we can check out the labor efficiency variance you can minus now it is like the amount is much lesser than before so in this case the labor rate variance labor efficiency variance and idle time variance would be equal to cost variance because you have divided those two oh. so labor rate variance efficiency variance and yeah for the time variance now next is labor uh, mix variance means gang composition where one task is done by many people together their efforts are needed so this variance is similar to material mix variance and it arises only when more than one grade of workers are employed and composition of those actual uh, grade workers differ from those specified in the standard so for that we have revised standard hours minus the actual hours into the standard rate is the formula let us see some numerical quotes india limited manufactures a particular product the standard direct labor cost of which is rupees 120 per unit whose manufacturer involves uh, the following given information grade of workers are 2 hours given by them 30 at the rate rupees 2 for B the grade B it is 20 hours at the rate rupees 3 during a period 100 units of the products were produced the actual labor cost of which uh, was as follows uh, the grade of uh, labor is given as A hours are 3200 at the rate 1.50 and for B it is 1900 at the rate rupees 4 so we need to find out all these variances let us have a look let us find out first of all standard let us see the standard for 100 units 3000 hours at the rate rupees 2 so it's 6000 2000 hours into uh, rupees 3 that is 6000 again so 12000 actual we can also see it's 3200 hours at the rate rupees 1.50 it's 4800 uh, for uh, b it is 1.90 into 4 uh, so it come out, comes out to be 7600 for one we have a favorable and the other we have adverse let us see the variances simply you can have labor cost variance by your standard cost and by subtracting the actual cost you can find out an adverse variance of 400 for labor uh, rate variance we have the standard rate minus the actual rate into the actual hours for a and b we can calculate for a i was telling you that it is uh, it would be favorable because it has the rate has got improved and for b it is adverse and finally after uh, adjusting both we can find out that there is an adverse labor rate variance for labor efficiency variance you can see at this point same ways for a it is uh, adverse for b it is favorable and finally your uh, because it is more for a so finally your labor efficiency variance is adverse we can add these two and check it out it is coming out equal then we have labor mix variance for which we have a revised standard hours minus the actual hours into the standard rate we can calculate we can uh, finally uh, we are having a favorable uh, labor mix variance and here we have used these hours by calculating uh, using this formula that is the standard hours of the grade upon the total standard hours into the total actual hours for grade a and b they are calculated separately and then we have used it here now next uh, next is labor ref revised efficiency variance or you can say labor sub efficiency variance this is similar to material revised usage variance and is a sub variance of labor efficiency variance it arises due to the factors other than those which give rise to idle time variances and labor mix variances so thus this is a residue 
uh, of your labor efficiency variance left after idle time and mixed variance if they are being separated. So labor revised efficiency variance uh, formula we have as standard hours for actual output minus the revised standard hours into the standard rate. We can check that, uh, this out for the previous illustration that we have seen. We can put the values and for that particular question we are able to see that there is an adverse uh, labor uh, re uh, revised efficiency variance. Then we have labor yield variance. This is quite similar to material yield variance, almost similar we can say. The, various, uh, the variance reveals that the effect on labor cost of actual output or yield being more or less than the standard yield. So the formula is actual yield minus the standard yield from actual output into the standard labor cost per unit of output. Let us have a look to the question and we need to find out labor yield variance from us. Standard time per unit is given as 1000. Yes, we can see divided by 500 units. So we are having standard time per unit as 2 hours. Standard cost per unit is, is uh, 2 hours at the rate rupees 20. Rupees 20 per hour is given to us. No? So it's rupees 40. So labor yield variance can be calculated by the formula actual yield minus standard yield into the standard cost per unit. You can put the values and we are able to see that there is an adverse variance of 2000 rupees. Further, there is a question here. The standard labor uh, employment and the actual labor engaged in a week for a job are given to us skilled workers, first grade, semi skilled workers, second grade, and unskilled workers. Standard number of workers in the gang is given, actual number of um, workers employed are given, standard wage rate per hour, actual rate, wage rate per hour. During the 40 hours worked working week, the gang produced 1800 standard labor hours of work. So we need to calculate all these variances. Let us see on the next slide. First of all, let us uh, establish the standard and the actual. For each of them, we can take the uh, number of hours work at the rate and find out the amount for all the three categories. Same ways for actual, we can take the hours into the rate so that we have the amount with us. Total number of uh, hours we have taken as number of workers into 40 hours. So standard cost of actual output is taken as 5040, which is the total uh, standard upon the uh, number of hours into that 1800 hours. One by one we can see all the variances, labor cost variance, uh, standard cost of actual output minus the actual output, uh, then labor rate variance that is standard rate minus the actual rate into the actual hours, then labor efficiency variance, we can find out the standard for actual uh, output using this method simply and then we can use it here put it here minus the actual hours into the standard rate and find out that we are having an adverse uh, labor efficiency variance of rupees 424 then we have labor mix same ways we can find out revised standard hours minus the actual hours into the standard rate you can put up the values in the formula and find out that your labor mix variance is coming out as favorable rupees 80 for labor yield variance actual output minus the standard output for actual hours into the standard rate per hour of week okay we can calculate that and lastly we can add the uh, your, uh, rate variance and efficiency variance it, it must be equal to cost variance and for efficiency variance also we can check um, with your material variance and your yield variance it should get tallied so it's quite simple here. If you have any top, any problems related to this topic, please contact with me. You may write to me. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.